Man United through to the fourth round of the FA Cup, courtesy of a lovely chipped goal by Juan Mata up against Wolves, who we seem to play every single damn week. But that was a tough game. Wolves didn't really sit too deep, and United found Daniel James with balls over the top, but Ruddy made a couple of good saves, and going into the second half, it was tough to see where the goal was coming from. Rashford came on, went off with an injury, and that's the only real negative I can think of from this game. But one matter was put through by Martial and he made no mistake. And genuinely, I was so confident that Mata was going to score there when he went through one-on-one. -on -one. Probably the best person it could have fallen to at that time. Mata in the last few games since the Bruno Fernandes rumours came about. Don't know whether that's a coincidence or not, but Mata, two assists against Norwich and a goal tonight against Wolves since the Fernandes rumours emerged and for me I don't think that's a coincidence I think that's a man who now has competition underneath him doesn't play for us yet if he does sign Mata will stay and Mata will play like that and make the difference in certain games his pace is not there but we've got a whole team of pace it's just that we don't have that creative midfielder with the pace and that's why Fernandez could make such a difference to this United team but that team tonight Matter was man of the match, and I think that was fair. But Brandon Williams was absolutely outstanding, again, up against Adama Traore, who is probably one of the most informed players in the Premier League. An absolute unstoppable player when he's running with the ball, but Williams, positionally, was spot on. And I don't think I can remember a defender, a young defender coming through. I said it on Twitter during the game. I can't remember a young defender coming through and playing as consistently good as Williams and getting better with each game. Now, the next game is the acid test away at Liverpool, but given how good they are, I'm just not really sure that's a fair measure, especially the players he's going to be up against. But Williams, time and time again, in different games, in different situations, has shown his maturity is way beyond his years, and he's far better than Luke Shaw and Ashley Young at left-back. Williams, for me, was probably man of the match, but you have to give it to Mata for that goal. In that game there, United's defence, I think, needs to be lauded. Romero's such a good backup goalkeeper. He comes in and does the job every single time. Arguably the best signing we've made post-Fergie. Certainly the most consistent, that's for sure. And the back four, I think Lindelof and Maguire were good. Today, I think Lindelof was certainly better. His long passing range is way better than Maguire's. Has to be pointed out, and that was something I thought we were going to get when we signed Maguire, but I haven't really seen that so far. Matic in midfield. Matic, man. The last few games that Matic has come in, I think he's added a real bit of experience in a midfield which otherwise massively lacks it. Fred's always thinking about passing it forward. Pereira is not a central midfielder. Juan Mata is a attacking midfielder. McTominay is injured. Pop is injured. Matic has come in and really shored up that defence. And again, another clean sheet. And I think Matic's involvement in the game is a real contributor to that. But every time Matic does something good, Matic equals it by doing something mad. And you can't really rely on a central midfielder like that anymore. And I know that Matic isn't part of this team in the long term. And I genuinely wanted him to leave in January and for someone like Levitt and Garner to be given the opportunities in that midfield rather than I would consider an ageing player to be given them. But to his credit in these last few games, Matic has played very well. Greenwood in that first half, he didn't get the opportunities because United were not looking for him. The balls over the top were going to Dan James and Greenwood was just not in the game at all and neither was Martial. Rashford's injury is probably going to be used against Solskjaer. Oh, why are you bringing him or why are you risking him ahead of the Liverpool game? United were nil-nil. And struggling, I think, in the second half. So, of course, you're going to bring on your top striker. And he wouldn't have played Rashford had Rashford not said, I'm fit enough to play this game. And you can't really prepare for what was a big impact injury. Right at the back of his knee, spun him around, but he was holding his lower back. Maybe that was the problem. Fingers crossed. It's something that can be sorted in a couple of days. That's what we need because United without Rashford at Anfield is a scarier thought than with Rashford. But United tonight effectively getting the job done. 1-0 into the fourth round of the FA Cup. Up against a tough Wolves team, I thought Williams was sensational. And he has to start at Anfield. I thought Mata deserved...
probably the man of the match, although as I said, I would say Williams, for a wonderful finish. And it's great to see his form in the last couple of games. Is that the Fernandez effect? I think it might be. But let's see what happens in the next few days with Fernandez, with United. We've got Liverpool next. Five goals in the last two games, zero conceded. It's a good bit of form to go in to Anfield. My, my, my. Let's see what happens on Sunday. But tonight, we got the job done. And that's what matters most.